What's going on guys, Sean Gutierre back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to zero gap the Anders Slimline Pro. Now if you guys watch my channel, you know I use the Slimline Pro, not zero gapped. I'm going to show you guys how to adjust it all the way zeroed, but I'm also going to show you guys how I adjust it and how I use this and why. Alright guys, so now we're going to set the Slimline Pro. Guys, you see this old custom blade that I have on there. Time to swap it out. So I actually have a new black, this is a knockoff, it's off of Amazon, but this is a black slimline blade. You guys see it's exactly the same. So we're gonna swap this out and we'll gap it at the same time. We'll start off by taking these two screws out. Again, guys, make sure that your screwdriver tip fits the screws. We don't wanna strip these screws out. Now this blade, guys, it does have a ceramic blade. You see how much hair is on there. It does have a ceramic cutting blade, so I'm gonna clean this off and throw it in the drawer. I might wanna use it later. Now you guys can see the gap out the box. Like I said, this is a brand new blade. And if you guys watch my channel, you know that I use this slim line out the box. I like it to not be that sharp. I don't want it zero gapped because I punch my guideline in with it and use it to take it out. But in this video, guys, I am gonna show you guys how to adjust this a little bit closer. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is loosen these two screws just barely. We don't wanna move it a whole lot. We want this to be able to move, but not move a ton. And again, guys, these screws are attached to these, which is what holds this blade in place. So we're just gonna loosen them slightly. Again, make sure the screwdriver fits. Now you guys see I can move this thing up or down so we can adjust it. So we're gonna pop our handy mirror back out. Here's our blade. We will push it against the mirror. We're gonna push it all the way down so that it has no gap. This is zero gapped. I like to tilt it slightly. Now we'll pick it up and we can check it out. If you guys look, that is a little bit closer than it was before. I'm gonna go ahead. This time, guys, I'm actually gonna set it this way and test it out. Now again, I'm gonna hold it with my thumb and I'm gonna tighten these screws back down. After you tighten the screws, you always wanna double check and make sure that the blade didn't move and that looks pretty good, guys. So now we can throw it back on the trimmer and check it out. We just place the blade on the top. You guys can see the two screw holes line up. Now this is one thing unique about the slimline guys. You see with the screws in, this moves around. And if you're not careful, that will actually move what's going on up here. So I like to pinch it here on both sides to make sure that it is centered and then I'll snug them down. So there it is guys, there's the slim line. I didn't quite zero gap it, but you guys see, you just press it against the mirror, get it to zero, and then you guys can tighten those screws back down. You guys know I used it slightly less than zero gapped, so this is where we're gonna use it, but you guys can do it whatever way you want. All right guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, smash that thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment and let me know if there's any other equipment and things like this that you guys want me to show you how to do. Make sure you guys subscribe if you like content like this. I'm always dropping stuff like this. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you next time.